Hey, yo, little man. What's going on, everybody? Kazarski here bringing another awesome deck profile and a couple replays for you. Um, today, we have the deck list of the of Tom Mack. He recently got third place at the Ultimate Time Wizard Tournament this weekend at YCS Richmond. And he was kind enough to share the list with me. And I went ahead and played a couple games with it. But before we start, we are at 209 subscribers. At 250 subscribers, we're giving away those awesome three foreign, lightly played Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis, the namesake of this channel. So the way you can win is like, comment, subscribe. The ones who are doing a lot of the most comments, those are the people that we're going to choose to win this, uh, this raffle. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead. I'm going to wait right now. I'll just go ahead and subscribe. I'll wait. All right, you probably subscribed by now. So hopefully that number in a few minutes is a little higher than it was before. Uh, so today, like I said, we have this deck list from Tom Mack. Um, not much different than what I have been playing. Um, if you look at the main deck, he does main deck one Grand Mole, and I'm currently on that Instant Fusion tech still. But uh, in, in my deck, Grand Mole's on the side. But this is a really solid list. Uh, the biggest differences you see between what I'm playing and what he played was like I said, the Grand Mole and then a main deck Phoenix Wind Wing Blast, which I played a long time ago, um, long, long time ago, uh, and cut it for a few other cards. But uh, we have a couple changes in the side deck. He's going with the double super poly single nobleman. I have double nobleman single super poly. Everything else is pretty much the same. He's got the triple pulling the rug, uh, which is really good against those uh, the hard matchup of uh, of hero. Uh, hero frogs it's a very very tough matchup um and then you have his extra deck i actually made a mistake on the extra deck when i was playing these games luckily it didn't come up but he does not have chimera tech in his extra deck he has um two two androids so that, that's the only difference here uh he is having the super alloy beat wrapped in his in his extra deck for the gemini matchup or maybe even the the mirror match could help uh but we're gonna we, we took this game for a spin we have a couple replays for you all so uh, let, let's go ahead and look at them. All right, so the first one we have against Phoenix87. This is ranked. He's at 521. I'm at was at 352 at the time. Um, he was playing some, I think it was quick draw, actually. So we're just, we're just, we're just going to go through it. Um, my opening hand, I have, is a little slow for, for our deck. Uh, Alias, Honest, Diva, Gilman. Love the Gilman. Uh, compulsory and bottomless. It looks like I, I think I won the the rock paper scissors here, and I think I just opened up standard. I believe I just went I just went summon alias. I set the bottomless. No idea what I was playing against. I actually considered setting the compulsory in case I was playing against a deck that could summon card trooper for one, because uh, bottomless doesn't do anything against that, and I just lose a minus one. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and set the bottomless because I think there was other you know other matchups. Bottomless is just better against turn one. Uh, so. He goes, he sets it back when he ends. So I still have no idea what he's playing against. Uh, I rip the MST and I just go ahead and attack because what's going to happen? I mean, he, I don't have a spark, but trying to get some information on what he's playing, just going to go for the damage. So the attack gets deprisoned, which kind of sucks because I don't have a spark. Kind of wish I shotgun that MST, but sometimes that MST is just better off holding for something else. Um, and I just ended my turn. I didn't want to leave a Gilman out there, you know, that could just do nothing. So I decided to keep going uh, since I still have no idea what I'm playing against, even though I probably should have summoned the Gilman because uh, I have bottomless backup. But and then next turn, I can go Diva into Gilman and having double Gilman on the field is so much fun. Uh, so he goes, he sets a back row and he ends. And I still have no idea what I'm playing against. Uh, so and, and I, I pick up Starlight Road, which is really helpful here. So. I just go ahead and I act. Here you go. I shock on the MST this time so I can make my monster stick. Uh, summon the Diva, get the second Gilman out of the deck so I don't draw another Gilman. And it, it kind of will make my Honest alive uh, if I draw, uh, when I, if I synchro summon into Android. So playing around Gores by attacking with both of these before you synchro summon, it only saves you 100 damage. And at this point in the game, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, but I still have no idea what I'm playing at, so I'm just going to summon Stinkro into Android and set my hand. So I'm in pretty good shape here. I'm going to gain 600 life on the end phase. I have Honest for backup. I have Starlight, Bottomless, Compulsory Evacuation Device to really be able to answer anything that he's going to play. 
So I still have no idea what I'm playing against. He still just sets a bunch of cards. So what I go for now is I hopefully I can use my solid road to my advantage here. So I'm going to summon the Gilman and just swing. And he activates Mirror Force. I go Starlight Road, but he has the Solemn Judgment. So we lose everything. It's only a minus one. I mean, it's not that bad, but, you know, I have a Dead Dust Shoot. I have an Honest. I really don't have much here. So this isn't looking that great, but, but I still have no idea what I'm playing against. So now I see exactly what I'm playing against. Quick Draw with Dandy, which is freaking awesome. I love Quick Draw. I'm a huge Quick Draw fan, but you can't play this deck right now uh, just because it's because Black Wings just utterly destroys him. So I assume he's going to go for Drill Warrior, which he does, and I bottomless it pretty quickly uh, before he can do really anything. So now I just have not that much. Summon the Honest, I attack over the Token because I don't want him to be able to tribute for Kai's, get a floater. And what am I going to do then? Just compulsive Kai's back to his hand? No. I'm going to use the Honest, even though if you look at my graveyard, I have no heroes. So I can't use Miracle Fusion, even though I thought later in the, the game I, I could. So I bounce the Honest back, and that's it. So I, he just goes set, and I have I, I, I draw a Wing Blast, which isn't isn't helpful at all right now because I don't want to wing blast. I don't want to discard any of these cards. Um so honest just decides to swing in, hoping it's not a a, a, a hamster. It's a sang in, which is fine. He's gonna I believe he searches does he search lone fire? No, he searches debris dragon. Okay. So I bounce the honest back. And that's it. So now he summons a debris. He's gonna make an ancient fairy dragon here. Um with the dandelion and this is where i kind of messed up i thought i still had that alias in my graveyard so i took the damage here so that i could just miracle fusion next turn and hopefully get it get a two for one but i was i was mistaken next turn i after i take the damage i realize that i don't have a hero so i try to summon the honest and attack into a token he deprisons it i set the bottom list i just drew and then he attacks with the fairy. Now I have to compulsory it back because I made a mistake last turn. It took 2100 damage for no reason. Uh, he sets another monster. And I summon the best card in the game, Stratos. So I summon Stratos. I grab my alias. And I just swing into his face time monster, which happens to be Morphe Jar. I did not like this at first, but it ended up working out pretty good for me, I think. Because uh, now he had a fresh hand, so now my dead dust shoot is live. So now, and I and I draw no monsters, so in case he draws a dust shoot, it's not really going to help too much. Um, and I still have, now I have everything I need. So I set to run, I set the hero blast to play around Heaven Storm in case he has it. So hero blast will be able to pretty much answer almost anything except for a lone fire blossom, uh, which I have dust shoot for if he has one. Um, so I can get a plus one off of that. But now that he draws, and I shock and I dust shoot. So this is this is a this was a crazy interaction. So he does I dust shoot, he MSTs, chains his own DD crow on my alias. So I was just making you know, if you look at the, the the chat here, I'm just making sure the chain links are right. Because so I'm just gonna chain my hero blast and take my alias back. So I'm just going, so I get two cards out of his hand, a monster back to my hand. And now I get to see his hand <laughs> and kill one of his tokens. So this was just, I don't know if I would have done that with, with his hand. I'm not sure the point of it. Um, we could probably wait for the crow. Maybe if I have a miracle fusion or wait for me to activate hero blast, the crow is probably a little better, but I see his hand and I put back a Caius. Yeah. He had lone fire, Titania, Ryko, and Caius. So pretty good. Except I, I see it now. I know what he has. And I sent the Kaius back, which is the best card in his hand. Uh, I think he sets the Ryko next. No, he Aversus. Oof. You know, I want to see what he drew here. I don't remember what he drew. So he puts everything back except for the Ryko. And now, you know, I mean, my my all the information I thought I had, I mean, I still have, but now he's got two unknown cards. So let me see what you drew. You drew Dandelion and Book of Moon. Okay. 
All right, so let's just keep going. So he sets a monster. I assumed it was Raiko. I don't think he shuffled his hand, which is why I knew that he set Raiko. So now I summon the alias, and now I want to try and test these back rows, which, which are Avers and Book. So now I summon the alias, attack into the token, and then I just straight up spark the 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 right guy. I don't want him to mill. I don't want any future averages to get online. I don't want him to be able to get his engine online, mill some more dandies. That's that's not what I want. So I just shotgun the spark on the right go after I attack in case he had a deep prison or something, I'd get even more of a plus on. Um he thought you could Book of Moon the alias in response, but attributes his cost. So you can't. Um so the Ryko dies. I gave him the book back. It's not a big deal. Just trying to play friendly, even though it is ranked. I let him keep the book and I continue to play as if I didn't know he had it. In tournament, obviously different, but so I attacked for 18. And now he's really low. He's at 1050. I'm at 6,500. I have heavy. I have miracle fusion. I have honest. I think I'm in really good shape. And I actually forget if I win this game. Um, so here I just, I go for game. So I go for Diva so I can make a Brio. And just bounce everything back and miracle fusion for game, but he has the book. So um I go for game anyway, not knowing what his face down monster is. So I a miracle fusion, I bring out a I bring out a zero. I even summon the honest in case it's a Ryko. Um, but what sucks is it was a dandelion. So I so it kills tokens. I think I set both, bring the honest back, and he goes dandy. I think he just he just attacks into he tries to attack and I just hero blast his monster. Oh no, I hero blasted um the the quick draw now in case he had I tried to hero blast thinking he had a Caius, but I forgot that I didn't have an alias because I removed it with Miracle Fusion. Uh so if he had a Caius, it kind of sucked, but um after he attacked, he just scooped because he had no way to uh to beat it, to beat my field. So next game. I forget what I sided. I think I sided in Nobleman. Yeah, I sided in Nobleman. I mean, look at this hand. This hand is amazing. Uh, you know, I open with Stratos. Get everything. Attacking to his face down. Now, so this is this is this was crazy because this is a this is a bottomless here. So he didn't bottomless the Stratos, or and he didn't deep prison the Stratos. So I took my alias, and on next turn, I just assume, you know, based on that information and that read. I think that my alias is free to just summon and attack directly. But he had other plans. <laughs> he bottomless the alias now. I guess praying I don't have a Gemini Spark. Uh, I mean, he got rid of an alias, but I don't know. I feel like you maybe just save the damage and take it with it. I don't know. I don't know what you would do there. What do you guys think we should do that he should have done? Um, so he sets Hamster, which I don't know about. Um, but I have the Nox. So I'm, I'm pretty safe. I think I, I think I just wrote up for alias. Yep. And then I just knock his monster. So now I removed both hamsters I'm in pretty good shape. And he attacks, I attacked directly for 18. Now I have double bottomless deep prison diva miracle fusion. I mean, I, I think this is going to be pretty difficult for me to lose this game. Um, uh, he goes lone fire. And this is where I wish I set the bottomless. He may, he goes into titanium. I deep prison it to the, deep prison the titanium and he sets a monster so just so i don't have to overextend i don't want to overextend because if he has torrential i just get screwed but so i just go straight for attack and i set my deep prison i set my bottom with some mirror force make him waste some resources so i don't have to uh and i think here is where i go for game i make a brio i pitch the bottomless he torrentials and then I miracle fusion and I just win. What is this? This is a bluff pot of avers. So luckily, I I once I drew the next turn, once I had a stuck on body on board, I thought that I could just overextend into torrential if he had one. And if he did, then I'd just be able to miracle fusion for game. And luckily he didn't have a response. So that was the first replay. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. And then this one right here was nuts. I, I I lose this match, but this is against Diva Hero. And, you know, we're going to show both hands here because this game one, I almost played through everything 
almost won game one and, and I didn't. So let's just, I want to show both hands so that I can see for the first time what he had, what he had. Uh, let me see. So he opens up Armageddon Knight, Treeborn, Car Trooper, Malicious, Diva, Bottomless. Wow. I mean, it sucks he has the, the, the Malicious, but I guess he can, that's why he dumped the Plague. So he, he dumps Plague. Oh, my hand isn't even that great. Like, it's just just all monsters. So he dumps the Plague, he sets a back row, he sets the bottomless. I get my plus one off the Stratos, he bottomlesses it. Now I set, so I go ahead and I set Hero Blast here. No, no, I set Heavy. I set Heavy. I was hoping he would set some back rows, and then I'd be able to get a plus one. And now that I have a back row, hopefully it will deter him from uh, just going off if he has... Uh, a gref or anything so he just summons the gilman and attacks and i really have nothing still so i draw a miracle fusion i just summon the alias attack into the armageddon knight see this this was a crazy turn so he tops oh okay so it wasn't a crazy turn because he put the malicious back on top of his deck for plague and i when, when this happened i was I was just flabbergasted at how lucky the mill was, but no, he did it. I didn't realize it was the first card off the top. Um, all right, so let's keep going. So if he's going to make a Stardust, no, my thought was actually, if if he makes a Dark End and sends my Alias and he just attacks, I'm dead. But the the back row heavy luckily kept me alive for a little longer. There's a lot of turns I should have died, but... He, I kept myself alive by just the way I was playing. So let's keep going. So he suicides with the trooper, attacks with the Gilman, attacks, and uh, he doesn't attack with Stardust, fearing deep prison. Uh, so I, I, I diva out of Gilman, make an android, miracle fusion out, and hope, hoping he doesn't have mirror force. But he ripped the mirror force off the trooper, which is crazy. So I heavy the back row, which is you know, where I was going to lose if he was able to return. So now I call the android, save myself again for another turn. Um, attack the alias into the Gilman, still surviving. He gets a Stratos. So this is this is where things got a little a little nuts. So let's pause it really quick. So I don't know what this is. It's a frog. I obviously don't know what it is. I don't think it's Stratos. So now my thought was, if the the way he's playing, I I really didn't think he had Gores. Obviously he does, but. So now my thought is if I Gilman, if I Diva make summon Gilman, make Brio, the Gilman pumps the Brio over the Stardust, which you'll see in a second that I do. So I do this over the Goyo because I don't want to have to negate something with Stardust and then just give it back to him. Um, but I did not, the way he said a monster. So like, I didn't think Gorge was there, uh, but it was. So, but I have the Hero Blast. So, oh, he rips Dark Arm here. So he attacks a Hero Blast token. Kills Gilman. Now, I'm a little weaker, but I ripped the Miracle Fusion. So I'm thinking I am in great shape. Gilman, you know, he's pumped by... Uh, Zero is pumped by the Water of Brio. I can attack over and not have to waste blowing up his field. And Brio will attack directly. The problem was, I even looked at this at the time, he had three darks. So my thought was, what are the... Uh, if he doesn't have Dark Arm, I, I win. But he ripped Dark Arm that turn, that turn before. Oh, yeah, Dark Arm and Caius. Wow. So he blows up both my back row, attacks into my zero, and now I'm down to nothing. Uh, and then he summons Stratos. So I, I, just, I just lose this game. Um, now for the side deck, if we go back to his deck list, I sided in the Super Polys. Sided in, hmm, uh, sided in two pulling the rugs, and sided in three, sided in two pulling the rugs. I uh, had a lot of cards I would get hit by pulling the rugs: Stratos, Diva, Caius, um, Armageddon Knight. So I brought all that in. His hand was wow. His hand's Dust Tornado, Crow, Caius, Miracle, and Rhoda. My hand is pretty solid here. Uh, the Grammel, first time I'm seeing it. I don't think I summoned Grammel ever when I, but I think this was the only time I drew it. So we go ahead, I equal for Stratos, get my plus one. Uh, and I set both because I set both because if uh, I, I don't want to just 
get blasted up by an MST. And if he has heavy, he has heavy. I'm probably going to lose anyway. Uh, so I wanted to set the pull in the rug to play around evil guy Caius, which would suck, uh, which would give me a plus one there. And the bottom list was um, in case he was able to maybe summon his own Stratos, protect my monster even more. Uh, but that's why I set both. Because if he has heavy, I'm, I'm going to lose that anyway. So, But he doesn't go for Stratos. He goes for Armageddon Knight. Um, I shotgun the pull in the rug. He says I should have waited, which which is fine. But um, so now I just summon my alias. There's clearly no torrential here. So he didn't torrential in the first place. Um, and I just now he sets another card. And so I just keep attacking because if he has torrential, I'm not gonna play into it. Um, so now he's at 600, he draws and he scoops. So we go to game three, and my hand again is pretty pretty monster heavy he goes stratos into evil guy sets d person so he's got miracle diva evil guy super poly mst it's a pretty solid hand uh and he's got d person back there so i just i was thinking here now if i drew a spark i was just gonna go straight into alias even though i had one but so i go to attack he deprisons. Uh, and now I really have nothing, right? So I'm just I'm just all monsters. So I wanted to set the hero blast as a bluff again, so that he wouldn't just, if he had a Greffer, was able to make a malicious special Greffer, summon malicious, make a diva play. I, I wanted to set a back row so that that would not happen. Hopefully, he had the MST, he summons diva, he taps with everybody to play around gore is very good play. Um I don't have gores because I said I hear a blast, so that's probably why he attacked. But uh, and now he makes an makes a cataster. So I start. So I rip the Gemini Spark. I, I'm not thinking that this is actually really good momentum um, for me because I can kill the Stratos, and now I have an answer to the cataster, and I have a water with ocean in my hand. So I mean the the Rota isn't doing much. It could just clear out the third alias. Maybe I should have done that, but. So I attack, it goes through. Now I set both because I wanted to, to hopefully play around a, a random dust tornado. Because uh, usually a lot of people dust tornado the first one you set. So I set Rhoda, set Gemini Spark. Now I'm forced to Gemini Spark the Catasser. And I draw Cyber Dragon, which is not very good. So I drew another, and I have another spark in my hand too. I think I drew it off of the first spark. So I'm gaining even more momentum here with this extra extra Gemini spark. I'm keeping my bluff row to face down. Hopefully it will continue to deter anything he has, but his back row is really good. So, oh, he went to mind control. Okay. So he goes to mind control here and I change Gemini spark and I hit the wing blast. I wish I hit the super poly because that would have been different. So now I have to try and play around this freaking zero. So I summon the ocean and I set D prison and I set super poly. I'm really low. I'm at 1400 life. I was hoping he didn't have his own super poly, which he did. So when he goes to attack, my thought process is do I D prison or do I super poly? If I super poly, I discard a card, I summon my own zero, but everything dies. All right, everything dies anyway. So if I decided that when he attacks, I would D prison and lose my ocean makes Miracle Fusion live on my next turn. And then after this attack, if he decides to somehow get out another Malicious, get a Water and a Hero out, um, I would be able to Super Poly um, and go plus one that way. But unfortunately, he attacked. I deprisoned. He changed Super Poly, and I just straight up died. I was at 1,400. I had no way to, to live that turn. But, so him having Super Poly lost me the game and now i know maybe going forward if i'm ever in this situation again um i should probably super poly first to avoid him having a super poly um he had dark arm again he only had one he had two dark wow he could have dark armed at any time i think i was going to lose this game anyway because if i miracle fusion he just crows my only water if this play actually works out next turn uh, and then that makes dark arm live wow i was destroyed um, but this deck, solid, solid version of the Diva Hero beat deck, 
Um, this is still something I'm going to be playing at RBDT Rulers in a few weeks. Nick and I should be doing a video about what we expect to see at that tournament. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. We're getting close to 250. I know you want to win that giveaway, uh, but please um, like the like the video, and I will see you all next time.